Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we're going to talk about a Kickstarter called Transforma X, the world's first self-cleaning travel slash gym bag. Sleek, durable gym slash commuter bag designed with design for maximum functionality, the only self-cleaning solar-powered hybrid duffel bag slash backpack. Well, I'm sure it's the world's first or only because I don't think anyone else makes a self-cleaning solar-powered hybrid duffel bag slash backpack, uh, but that's just me. So what is this thing? It is literally the kitchen sink of bags. It's a duffel bag. It's a backpack. It's a self-cleaning duffel bag backpack that has a power bank and it has a multi-tool and it has a scale and it has a compass and it has a solar panel and it has a whatever. Like literally, I'm not exaggerating. Those are all things in here. So, um, they really like I, I would say focus is a is a problem for Transform X. First they're talking about how it kills bacteria and then it can so it's so versatile and then they go back and talk about the germs and if you're a germaphobe, don't you want to kill bacteria? Like this kind of is off the topic. Okay, yeah. Don't eat out of a dog food bowl. Um and so in that respect worse than a toilet seat um so anyway uh this is the part where they get to self-cleaning again so what it has is has a uv light and ozone uh, whatever these things are ozone generator i guess uh and this is supposed to kill bacteria and kill odors i know ozone can kill odors basically by like killing off mold or whatever um uv light also kills bacteria so um you know, the question is if you put one of these inside of a backpack with a bunch of folded clothes, will it kill it? Um, the ozone may or may not percolate into there. You might want to not fill it up and kind of sh shake your stuff. I don't know if the UV will kill, you know, it'll only kill what it shines on unless this thing is reflective inside or something, which uh, clearly is not. So, um, I really would be careful about the e efficacy of that small of a unit. If this thing is actually full of clothes, um, you know, okay, here's the, with shoes in there. I guess that's the thing, the shoe compartment on the bottom. I don't even know what that is. Um, it has a power bank with a compass on it and a tiny solar cell. I don't care. They say this is 10,000 milliamp hours, which is pretty sizable for, um, you know, portable power bank. Um, whatever size it is, this is definitely not big enough to really charge this thing. Oh, and it's got LED lights on it, too. So, yeah, like you can see the size here. It's basically the size of a slightly bigger than a smartphone. Um, that solar cell is not really going to do much. You know, it's going to take you uh, probably the battery discharges it's almost as much as, you know, over time. It's almost as much as the charge, positive charge is over time if you leave it directly in the sun. So um, kind of some weak-ass solar panel. Uh, it's got the scale in the handle, it's got all these things. So, yeah. And it's only 15 minute cycle on the ozone. Saves water. So, the question is, like, let's go back to the clothes. If I put that little dinky thing in there, um, how many cycles does it take to actually clean your clothes? And does it actually clean your clothes or does it just stop them from smelling? Um, if I fall in mud, it definitely does not clean my clothes. I have to rinse them off. It doesn't dry your clothes. Uh, so I could see maybe like if I was going on a, on a, uh, okay, maybe I went to the gym and, um, you know, my clothes aren't sweaty, but they are kind of stinky. I could put it in there, somehow kind of deodorize them, kill all the bacteria, have them there ready for tomorrow. Maybe uh, if I, I actually go on a lot of business trips and I've gotten to the point where when I'm going to China, I basically just travel with one backpack and I've got like three days worth of clothes in there. Um, and yeah, it would be nice if I could carry one or two T-shirts and underwear or whatever instead of three or four and just have it deodorize while I'm traveling. Uh, but then again, I could also just wash my stuff in the sink in the hotel too if I really wanted to. So um is this better? I don't know. Is it worth it? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, like, and like I said, 
focus is an issue. It's got okay, these pockets are nice, but then it's also got um a multi tool, it's got a yoga mat strap for your yoga mat holder. It's got uh lots of pockets, fine, it's got laptop compo uh, compartment that's good. Um but yeah, it's got too much stuff. Um foil which may or may not do anything um quick release straps all these things are just you know what you would want in a good functional backpack uh weatherproof not waterproof but weatherproof i guess um look you can climb the stairs good for your stinky pets could you put your stinky pet in there i don't think i the ozone will kill it um so I'm not really up on this thing. I don't think it's strong enough to really do too much, um, especially inside of a bag. Multi-tool, this is just going to get you locked up by TSA, I think, um, if they find that thing in there. Survival bracelet. Okay, come on, guys. You just bought this and stuck it in the bag. Uh, too dinky for the solar panel. Uh, the bag itself looks okay. I mean, at least it's not like... It's It's kind of black at least but yeah i don't know if i want a giant x on the back um and then they have these testimonials or whatever uh and this is actually where it really jumps the shark for me so it's clear that they went to some kind of like product expo and they just asked a bunch of people like hey would you want to be on our youtube channel and we will uh share it we'll put you in there and we'll give your name so um So these people are just literally like just spitting out like every positive thing that that they that they tell them to. I want to be part of this Kickstarter because this is what I want when I head out on my I've never seen anything quite like it. It's one of the most unique bags I've seen in a long time. Yeah, like this guy especially is just so over the top. I, I hate to say it, but, you know, this guy looks like he should be a motivational speaker, a speaker or something like because it's just like so over the top. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy a car from this guy. I wouldn't buy a gym membership from this guy. Um, the fact that he's wearing the T-shirt of the uh, brand that's putting this thing out just makes me think he's not a credible uh, third party <laughs> third party opinion. Anyway, so I could go off on this thing for a while. Um it's just too much junk in there. Um, oh, I guess if I get the cheaper one, I don't get all the extra. I don't get the survival bracelet. Um, and, but yeah, you don't even get the power bank until you're up to $200 for the executive bundle. Um, and you don't get the cleaning thing until you're 229 So what does that tell you? That tells you this, this, this one doesn't come with the power bank. So this, I guess, is just battery charge too. Um, so yeah, look, you're if you want all that features, you're up two fifty, right? Um, so okay, and this is just two plain ones. So you're looking at hundred sixty bucks plus. Actually, the couples. Well, these will probably run out. Um, but yeah, you're you're in deep as far as money goes, um, just to get the basic bag, much less all that extra junk, which is probably better because who wants that multi-tool? and uh survival bracelet and all this other stuff so um it just keeps going and going and going um they got some background on the people and here we go that's the dude in the video okay it's nice that they actually gave some background they should put this a little bit higher up and save the uh fake testimonials um for later But yeah, it just keeps going and going. I didn't even get to, to the bottom before I got so overloaded. Um, one more thing um, when we're getting the money. So if you look at this, they've actually raised a lot. They're almost to their goal. This has only been four or five days. But they only have 38 backers, right? So what does that tell you? 38 backers uh, spending, what is that? That's like $600 each on average, right? So... How much do you have to buy to spend 600 on average? I'm guessing, well, actually, maybe you can even tell. 
they got a couple of these big orders which may or may not ask for a refund later so they got two people ask uh, ordering 750 they got one guy doing 1200 and three guys doing 3000 each so um you know almost half at least half of their money is from a couple extremely high uh, level bankers which like i said could just ask for a refund later so um i'm a little suspicious this doesn't seem like it's a groundswell of interest at the grassroots level it seems like a marketing company um kind of look oh we passed our goal within a week kind of things uh, within 48 hours this case it, it didn't i think they only got up to 20 and then there's maybe a couple thousand more of actual people but um look okay so 15 bought the basic bag and no one bought the uh unstoppable bundle whatever that is um executive one which includes the battery only one person the squeaky clean one only one person so yeah which one is this complete uh, competitor bundle does that come with the cleaner yeah okay so three people so that's what you're talking about like five or six you know actual individuals um there's another six okay so maybe ten and counting and a lot of here's seven hundred fifty dollars buddy so you know maybe those are resellers I don't think so um, but even in that case there's only three of them who are buying ten bags or how many bags in here uh, 25 bags uh, but then again they don't include all the other stuff right so well I guess in this case you can find the, the actual cost you know with a small markup so the purifier thing they want $55 each um, yeah if I were buying 25 there ain't no way I'm paying that much anyway so you can tell I'm kinda of down on this thing um, if they just done the cleaning one travel backpack with a cleaning thing and then they could show that it actually worked with like non shill people I might consider it right now not so keen on it so I'm gonna give this guy a thumbs down uh, Transforma X your numbers are suspicious your product is too unfocused um, come back with something a little bit more refined don't put your logo in the giant you know you should be paying me to put a logo this big on there look at this it's like it's here it's here it's here probably the other side too if I just wait and watch it scroll around long enough I can find out um, yeah I'm not gonna give this guy a thumbs up okay see you guys next time here on go kick me check us out on Facebook and Twitter go kick me at go kick me uh, and also go kick media.com for our newsletter okay so been pretty busy lately this might be my last video that I get done today, which means the last video you will see for, I don't know, at least a, probably a week uh, till I get. Oh, and then I got to go to China, too. So who knows? I probably can't film while I'm there. So uh, fingers crossed. Have a good rest of October if you don't hear from me again. Okay. Bye.